Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom. We're here to experience a magical day. Let's get to it. Starting off the morning looking in at our buddy here, the crocodile. He is just hanging out, the American crocodile. He's actually moved from his standard spot. Usually he likes to sit like right over here. Instead, he's over there because it's kind of a, a kind of cloudy day today. Hey, Mr. Crocodile, he's napping. Now, you may have heard that Expedition Everest is going to be closing in the coming months up ahead, right around the start of the new year for about three months. So before it closes, let's go enjoy it together. Always love single rider on this attraction. Makes the wait time so much shorter. love Expedition Everest. It's amazing how well it can start your day. Now right next to Expedition Everest you can see Disney's working on Kite Tales. Their brand new show is gonna be happening during the day here at Animal Kingdom. As we take a closer look here you can actually see they're building some kind of structure here. Clearly it's a structure that is meant to stay where it is. Right? It's gonna be holding still right here because you can see those braces against this uh, dock right here. But the kites will fly up in the air during the day and this will no doubt be a part of the show. Now I have a feeling it's probably going to be made of more than just this uh, kind of plywood that we're seeing here. It's probably going to be colored with all sorts of different colors, kind of featuring animals. It's going to be great. But uh, for now, we're seeing just the very beginning of it. As we look just beyond where this uh, kite tail structure is being put together, you can actually see the band is out there on the boats playing away to entertain us as we wait for kite tails, which is very, very very close. Before you know it, it's going to be here entertaining all of us. But look at that band way out there. They sound great as always. Woo. There they are. They sound so good. Woo. Now it's a bit cloudy today, so it's the perfect day to see the animals at the Maharaja Jungle Trek. I'm going to put on the longer lens so we can check them out together. Let's do it. Komodo dragon sleeping on that rock right there. You can see very unique colors, kind of like the darker greens and browns. Then on top, more like the grays and lighter greens. Really, really long Komodo dragon just resting on that rock. Definitely looks comfortable. And again, these are, I believe, exothermic. I believe they are. And uh, so they need to be out in the sun. So he's probably getting some extra sun right now because it's kind of cloudy today. Here's a closer look at that dragon right there. You can see his eyes are not fully open, not fully closed. Is he looking at us? I can't tell. I just love seeing him. Look at all those scales. My gosh, that's so cool. And oh my gosh, he's looking right at us. That is so, so cool. I wonder what his diet consists of. I'm gonna go around the side here and try and figure that out. I love seeing the animals on the track. Here's the tiger taking a little bit of a nap right here, learning more about it. Usually these guys uh, sleep in during the midday and active at night. Check out some of the water buffalo we're seeing on the Maharaja Jungle Trek. Not just one, not just two, not just three. There's so many of them just sitting back, relaxing, getting cool in the water. Ever seen a water buffalo in the water before? <laughs> That's probably where they get their name. Check that out. The details of those horns are just amazing. Clearly they're having a fantastic day, just relaxing. Check it out, you can see some of the unique birds in the aviary here. That is a very cool bird. Look at that one right there, having an afternoon snack. Look at the blues and greens. The feathers, kind of like around the neck too. Like a mini crown for the neck, eating those seeds. Yum. I don't know what kind of bird that is. It's almost like a, a white and black dove. Almost, you can see the body part is kind of like white and the wings in the end are kind of black. Very cool combination. Look at this bird right here. You can actually see a little bloom on his head there. Probably to attract a mate. Very, very attractive looking bloom there on top of your head. Almost like a, an extra crown. I like that a lot. Check out some of those monkeys hanging from their building right here. I always love seeing them out. You can see they got the black one, the grayish one, and then that brownish one. I love all of them. They're so, so cute and they're really like looking right at us. Now right next to Drinkwalla here across the way from Yak and Yeti there's actually a hidden area. First of all you got this little area right here where you can sit back relax get some relief from the sun. There's extra seating down here right over here. Turn to your left extra seating right over there and it's perfect for those views of your favorite characters as they come by. Hey Mickey! Hey Minnie! Hey there! There's Pluto too. Hey Pluto! 
There he is. I always love the decor around here too with this boat right next to their boat. Look at all the small details there. And over here, all those chairs and tables ready for you to sit back and relax. Okay, now it's time for Kilimanjaro safaris. Let's see some of those animals on this cloudy day. I hope we see more of them out there. A fantastic safari. Saw the lion. I mean, his face was just right there. Uh, amazing. Always love the safari, especially when you can see all those animals out. Cloudy day is a great day for the safari. It's lunchtime now, and I'm going to head back to Satuli Canteen. Now, this is a spot we've tried many times, and I'm looking forward to trying again. On many occasions, we've tried the kids' meal, we've tried the burger pod bun, but we haven't tried the uh, mixed bowl since the opening, I think, of Pandora. It's been a long, long time. I want to give it another try and let you know what I think. I got it, uh, the beef with noodles and the, uh, I forgot the sauce already, but it's the it's the hearty sauce. It sounds super good. Let's give it another try. From Satuli Canteen, I've got the beef bowl with the uh, noodles on the bottom. Looks really good with that hearty sauce. Also, the chicken looks delicious with the salad. Both look fantastic. Let's see if they taste as good as they look. Tried both the beef and the chicken. The ch again, the chicken is with the salad. The uh, beef is with the noodles. I gotta tell you, I am super surprised and impressed. I really do like them both. Either they've made changes or I don't remember it as clearly as I thought from several years ago. Definitely worth a try. I do recommend the noodles over the rice and beans. That I do remember. Maybe they've changed that again too. So you never know, we're gonna have to come back here again. But I can tell you, Satuli Canteen just moved up a notch, in my opinion, trying this food. Absolutely delicious. The chicken is super flavorful with the salad. The vinaigrette with the chicken is only okay. I prefer more of that hearty sauce, which I have. The beef that I have is deliciously tender, really, really tender. Not as much flavor, but the sauce really brings out the tenderness of the beef in mind. Noodles are definitely a go-to. Like that's that's gonna be my go-to from now on when I'm here at Satuli Canteen. Yeah. After a great meal like that, it's Time for dessert. Got to save room for dessert, especially here at Pandora. You already know what I'm getting for dessert. You already know. It's worth it. It's always worth it. One of my favorite desserts that you can find just about anywhere at Walt Disney World, the Night Blossom. It is outstanding, $5.99 for that. Don't be afraid to ask for extra boba pearls on top. Remember to drink it slow. Beware of brain freeze. Yum. Keep your cameras up and ready I to absolutely watch them. love what they the flight you can find here. Here they go. Uh, Love that. Now we tried to get to Dinosaur earlier, but it was shut down at that time. So we're giving it another try right here in Dinoland USA for Donald's Dino Bash. Still going on. Welcome to the Dino Institute where the future is clearly in the past. Is it? Is it? Maybe. Before that asteroid hits. Let's roll. Get them out now! Whoa! Mission accomplished. 
always love dinosaur. It's loud, it's intense, but it is so much fun. Ah, one of these days we're gonna ride it at night. The rides have adjusted a bit more like People Mover. We'll try it again then, but love it. Highly recommend it. Made our way to the store now and check out some of the new Numios that are here inside of Animal Kingdom. They've got the Pumpkin King himself and Sally. So cool, your own Numio there. And you can decorate, you can dress them, excuse me, dress them and give them even a lounge fly bag. Look at that, official lounge fly bag for your Numio. I love that. This is $21.99. The Jack Numio is $21.99 as well. So that's good to know. Give them a bag, probably this bag. I feel like it would go really well with Jack. In addition, you can see there are even more Numios all over, including some special outfits. Check these out. They even got their own headphones now for your Numios. That's very unique. I wouldn't have thought that they'd have uh, headphones for your little guys here. This is $12.99 for these headphones right here. Do you think they really play music? Probably not, but still cool. There's Jasmine and Ariel, and wait a minute, what's this? This is a oh, toy laptop? Oh, it opens too, look at that, that is very cool, $12.99. So your, uh, your Numio would literally have everything it needs for everything in life. Check out the Nightmare Before Christmas lounge fly bag here. It's even got these spikes on the outside, kind of a silver and black. I really like that one. I have a feeling it's gonna be super popular as it continues to make its way out into Disney. $75 for this bag. Very cool. I really like this home collection here. You can see they got the salt and pepper shakers right there. Then you got this clipboard here, Believe in the Impossible. I like that one a lot. Then check out this uh, planner here. You can dream it, you can do it. And it's uh, different uh, weeks, and there are 52 of these sheets that you get. That is very, very cool. Kind of a motivational thing for you, $12.99. I really like this. Then the bottle stoppers here with Mickey and Minnie. I feel like they're in there in gold. In the future, we'll have them for the 50th. Check out the 999 Happy Haunts ears here. Very cool. And on the back, you can see it's very similar. Very, very cool. I like those a lot. Now, you know I'm a big fan of Disney mugs. Check out this one right here. Just spotted it. It's the Mando mug. That is so, so cool. You can see its helmet comes off for you to drink from it. $22.99. A lot of them here, but oh my gosh, that is one of the coolest mugs I've seen recently. They've also got the Hatbox Ghost mug. I really like this one as well. Check this one out. Haunted Mansion and then the Hatbox Ghost. Take off the little hat right here. And there's your teacup. Very, very cool. You can see it also is sensitive to the heat. So you get things changing after you put hot liquid in it. You'll see the hat box goes to here. Then when it cools down, it'll disappear. Very, very cool. $22.99 for this mug. Such a magical day today. Thanks so much for joining me. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.